Hi Collective, Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And uh, if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Okay, Collective, this is a general energy check. I'm going to try to make this quick, sweet, short, to the point, but we'll see what plant spirit has, okay? Um, collective, I don't know. I've been hearing this song. It's that song, People. I don't even know who sings it, but for the past three days, I've been hearing it all day in my head, so spirits want me to know that something's up. Okay, I don't know who this message is for, but... There is someone who needs some kind of help or assistance and they need someone to check on them. Okay. If you feel so inclined, but someone is not doing well. Um, I keep hearing that one line. Um, I've been drinking more alcohol in the past few days. Did you check on me? And that other line, um, and I don't smoke bunga. Did you look for me? Somebody is not doing well at all. Spirit, please clear. Woo! And I have cards literally flying out of the deck here. So we got seven of swords that literally flew out of the deck onto the floor. I'm taking it, okay? Let me show you the lineup here. Collective, you have the star. You have the chariot in reverse. You have the hermit in reverse. And you have the empress in reverse. What's, what's good? What's good? Okay, what's good? Spirit, can I get some more for the star, please? Can I get some more for the star? Okay, collected, there you are. You show up as Queen of Cups, okay? <laughs> uh, Spirit, please clarify Seven of Swords. Please clarify Seven of Swords. Okay, so collective, someone wants to come back. They could have left the home, they could have left, they could have turned their back on you, but someone went to go and plant seeds somewhere else. They went to go build something somewhere else. They went to go and be with somebody else. And that did not work out. This person is hiding, um, lying, cheating, stealing. The thing is, though, this is someone who's trying to be sneaky. They really want to heal things with you. If someone left a home, they really want to come back. Mm -hmm. This person is looking at the fact that you are, you've healed. They could see you celebrating right now. But they re what they really see the most is that you love yourself, right? Yes. Uh, okay, there's an emperor here. For some of you, this person is spying on you to see if you've hooked up with somebody else. There is an emperor that wants to come back home, okay? For some of you, you are going to be coming into alignment with somebody who is more aligned with you. Yes. So please clarify, three of cups. You may not even realize that you're about to meet your emperor or your empress, Okay. Your true person, look at this. Some of you, you're meeting your person. You don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to reconcile with you as well. Okay, put the energy where it goes. You know your story. I'm just here to confirm. But somebody wants to celebrate with you. They want a brand new beginning in love. Somebody wants to propose to you. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. But there is someone who's watching you, but you're not watching them. I feel like a lot of you, you could be celebrating something right now because you're healed, you're whole. Uh, I'm speaking to a star seed here as well. There is something that you're doing or that you do that is in perfect alignment with who you are and why you're here, okay? Mm -hmm. Someone been watching your ass though and they want to come back. So please clarify the chariot in reverse. This person has made a decision uh, before they could have been blocked or they couldn't see something clearly. So they didn't know what direction to take. They know now, but I, it's like... Somebody is deciding not to go towards someone and that's their decision not to go towards someone and maybe back double back and come towards you or make a U-turn. Spirit, can I get some more for the chariot in reverse? Yeah, someone doesn't want any drama. They want to heal something with you. Someone could have realized that they were tricked mm -hmm. and something is a contradiction. Uh, I'm hearing... If you say that it's over, I don't mind. Is it Mali music with uh, Janae Aiko? If you say that it's over, I won't die. So someone could have thought that you would have been on your face, okay? You would have been stressed out, 
fed up, frustrated, not feeling good, not doing good in life, but you healed, okay? Ooh, yeah, you did. You healed quite nicely. A lot of you too with this Queen of Cups and this Emperor. This is not somebody. This is you. This is you loving yourself so much you bossed all the way up. Mm -hmm. You took control of your life and now you're celebrating. You're celebrating the new love that you have for yourself. A lot of you, you are surrounding yourself with people that are in alignment with you now. Mm -hmm. And whoever I'm speaking to, you're highly intuitive, right? You know that someone wants to come back or some bodies want to come back. You know they don't want no smoke with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody decided, <laughs> some of, for some of you, you you were dealing with somebody who decided to step out on you and maybe even start a whole relationship or commitment or family or something with this queen of wands here in reverse, okay? This prostitute. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody who is jealous. There is someone who is jealous of you, but there's this person that you are dealing with. They don't want to deal with this person anymore. And they are no longer allowing themselves to be blocked. They're no longer allowing someone to block them off from you. This is someone who wants to heal things with you and they want to come back. They are letting go of somebody. I got this before. What is going on here? I got this energy before. Collective, I don't know what's going on here, but I got this reading before, okay? So someone's energy is really strong, really potent right now. They're coming for you, okay? Or they're going to try to come back. Spirit, please clarify the hermit. Actually, can I get one on this um, two of swords in reverse? Somebody has made a decision that they want to build a solid foundation with you, okay? I'm, I'm hearing, where's Waldo? Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? So somebody is realizing that the person they were with was a whole fake or pretended or presented themselves to be someone that they're not. They're realizing now that you're the real Slim Shady. You a real one, okay? And if they want to build something solid or stable or want to have some kind of inheritance or something, something real, okay? Something tangible with this Ten of Coins here, a business, an inheritance, a legacy, they can have it with you. There was someone who's coming for you, coming towards you, because they've decided that they're no longer going towards someone else. Spirit, please clarify. Someone has decided that they don't want to put you in competition with anybody anymore. Someone realized that there's no one who is competition for you. Mm -hmm. You in a league of your own, baby. Spirit, please clarify five of wands in reverse. Whoa. Yeah. Someone is realizing that uh, it's like they need to let go of someone or drop some kind of drama or competition or jealousy or envy because it's just keeping them stuck. Mm -hmm. Someone is realizing that the games that they tried to play with you or the drama that they tried to bring into your life, the chaos, the conflict, um, the indecision, okay? Someone made something a lot harder than it needed to be, but all they did was complicate their own life. Someone realized that the, the tricks that they were playing, the tricking that they were doing, all it did was block them and prevent them from moving forward in their lives. Here, please clarify, Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody does not want to be with someone anymore, but the thing is they don't want, this is someone who wants to break up with someone, but they don't want no big fight and no drama. They just want to do it peacefully and cut ties and go about their business. Spirit, please clarify Queen of Wands in reverse. Because they feel absolutely stuck with someone. This Queen of Wands is angry. Mm hmm She big mad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, she is. Especially when they find out that I feel like this Queen of Wands can kind of know this already or have been picking this up. This Queen of Wands knows that somebody is. They're on their way out, yeah, and they stress. She's angry and she's stressed, okay? She's losing sleep. This is who the song is for. This is somebody who's been drinking more, okay? Losing sleep, losing weight, not eating, suffering in silence, okay? Yes, yeah, somebody's in some real desperate energy right now, and somebody is absolutely miserable mm -hmm. with their life, with the choice that they made, with what they thought they were going to get away with. Someone collective thought that they won a prize, okay? And they won something over you. They got one up on you. That's what I heard. They won up you by getting your person. And now they're both realizing that they didn't one up nobody. They just trapped themselves in a cycle where nothing's happening, okay? 
Nothing. They're getting nothing. Nothing's happening. There's no progress. There's a lot of arguing. There's a lot of fighting. Yep. There's a lot of stagnancy. Okay, there's stalemate right now. These two may not be even speaking to each other right now because this Queen of Wands knows that this Emperor wants to be with you. And when I say she's not eating, she's not sleeping, okay, she's drinking more alcohol and eating less, right? Going through a lot of anxiety, losing sleep here, suffering from insomnia. Somebody is dead ass suffering in silence here. And they're angry. Mm -hmm. Very angry. They may do something reckless. They're thinking about doing something reckless, doing something careless mm -hmm. to try to stop someone from coming towards you. Spirit, please clarify the hermit in reverse. Yeah. Hmm. A tower is going to fall and someone's going to regret it. Yes. Because someone is tired of being lonely without you. Mm hmm. Collective. There is. A there is a masculine energy that's in a relationship with someone else and they're missing you. They feel lonely with the person that they're with. They're about to cause a tower because they view someone as toxic as shit. Yeah. There is someone. Okay, so this Queen of Wands tried to keep this um, masculine energy bound to them. They could have been using sex magic. But for a long time, there was someone who felt this masculine energy felt like they couldn't leave this person because they would always come back in some lusty energy. That shit's about to change, okay? With this tower here, that shit's about to change. There's going to be a drastic change here, okay? Hmm. Spirit, can I get one on the devil? Someone's magic is also wearing off. Yes, it is. And it's going to be very shocking. Someone wasn't taking time to do some uh, soul searching. Uh, now it could, I feel like, I'm feeling both energies, this masculine and this queen of wands here. So I feel like at first it was all fun and games when they thought they were getting over on you and they were hurting you. And now that things have seemed to like backfired, boomeranged onto them. They want to be mad, but they want to be mad at each other, okay? They need to be mad at themselves. That's what they need to be doing, okay? Because now it's pointing hands. They're pointing fingers at each other. Oh, you did this. That's why this is happening. No, you did this. That's why this is happening. And it's like both of you did this. That's why it's happening to you. <laughs> it's happening to both of you. Because mm -hmm. both of you wanted to be on some fuck shit. Mm -hmm. Swear, can I get one on the devil? Yeah. There's two people that decided to work together to do something to make someone very unhappy, but they're the ones that are unhappy. There's two people that need healing, though. This could be a trauma bond. Yes. This is two people that are together because they don't like being alone as well. Mm -hmm. So please clarify the tower. Some shit's about to go down, collective. Yes, it is. This king of wands here is about to tell this queen of wands in reverse that they done done. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Someone thought that they had a hold on somebody and they're realizing that either the magic's not working, what's in between their legs is not all that sweet anymore, okay? With this nine of wands in reverse, somebody is over this, yeah? They're not trying to fight for this. They're not into no struggle love with somebody. They just threw up their hands and said, fuck this, I'm over this, I'm out of here, okay? And someone's going to be in deep regret about that. Spirit, please clarify, five of cups, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this masculine energy is coming to apologize to you. Yes, they are. And they're upset. But this is not anger. This is somebody who's crying inside. This is somebody who is, they're a mess. They could be emotionally immature right now or emotionally unstable. Okay, there's someone who's coming to apologize to you because they are a ball of emotions. Yes, they are. And they're in deep regret about who they chose over you or what them and someone else tried to do toward to you, collective. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify the Empress in reverse. This is someone who's very insecure. Mm -hmm. And they're not taking care of themselves. Someone is not well. Someone is not well. Mm -hmm. They're not taking care of themselves. 
They're in a very pessimistic energy. There's healing that needs to take place with somebody. It could be emotionally or physically. I feel a lot uh, that it's emotionally. This is someone who's not in alignment. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing here. And that's taking care of themselves. Right? Somebody is walking away from someone as well. So there is an, um, an energy. There's an emperor who is uh, in... It's like he's upset. So he's showing up as the king of cups in reverse. Okay? This is someone who's... They're not in the best place emotionally right now. They need to do some healing on themselves. But it's because they're really fucking tired of somebody's games and the things that they do. They're tired of the manipulation. They're tired of being unhappy. They're tired of being... Uh... This is someone who's tired of being unhappy. Period. This is someone who's about to tell someone that they're done and they want to invest somewhere else. They're going to walk away. Yes, they are. They are going to walk away. Spirit, please clarify. Please clarify the star in reverse. Yes. And intuitively, this queen of wands, this empress in reverse, she knows that. She knows that this person, and that's why they're in this really down energy, because she knows that this person... The person that they're with that wants to come back towards you, she knows that there's no hope. The magic wore off, okay? The things that she used to say to get this person to stay is not working anymore. The things that she used to do, it could be masculine. There's no energy. I'm sorry. There's no gender in tarot. It's just energy. So the things, the games that she used to play anymore, she used to play before. I'm hearing lust, the games of lust is no longer, they're not attracting this person anymore. With this Knight of Wands in reverse, this is for someone who's bored. They no longer have passion for this person, okay? They view them as all used up and used out. Spirit, please clarify seven of coins. And I feel like someone is depressed. Yeah, look, this person is investing in giving up on somebody. They want to invest in themselves. They're not fighting for something anymore. Spirit, can I get one more on the seven of coins? This um, union that they were in, it's also not protected by spirit. This was bound to happen. This is not protected. Yeah. Somebody is trying to figure out how to get you to drop your defenses. They will be doing that in the near future. This is someone who you make feel very insecure, collective. Mm -hmm. They don't feel good enough. <laughs> Yeah, they don't feel good enough for you. Yeah. And deep down inside, they know that they need to heal something. They're kind of pessimistic right now, too. They kind of feel hopeless, but they're still going to try. Yeah, they are. Because this is somebody who's viewing you as the right investment that should have been made from the beginning, that they should have been putting work into you. They're trying to figure out how to heal things with you, but first they're trying to figure out how to get you to drop your defenses towards them. You have taken absolute control of your life. You are in the driver's seat and they see that. They be spying on you. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify eight of cups. Please clarify eight of cups. Please clarify eight of cups. This is who you've been feeling as well. You could be picking up the energy of both of these. Um, this queen of wands, both of these energies. This queen of wands in reverse. This king of cups in reverse. Okay, who shows up as... King of Cups and King of Wands in reverse. You could be picking up their energy right now because someone is very upset. I mean, like they're crying. They're a mess, okay? Mm -hmm. Their nervous system, their nerves are all over the place. Their energy is all over the place. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify Eight of Cups. Yes, this is someone who's ready to leave somebody and come towards you. I can't make this up. They want to reunite with you. They're ready to let go of this person and come towards you. They're just trying to figure out how to get you to drop your defenses, man. Like 100% here. And I feel like this is what is hurting this person the most. They're a ball of nerve. Yeah, you ain't giving nothing to this person. And they know it. <laughs> they know it. Mm -hmm. I feel like you've shut the door on someone for good, collective, and they know it. And they're really trying to figure out how to pry it open a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing someone. 
be aware, collective. Some of you, you may end up having some kind of altercation with someone, like where they try to come to your door. And you know when you close the door and someone pushes their hand through to like block you, like, no, no, just hear me out. That may end up happening with someone because they're really desperate for your attention, for your energy right now. Mm -hmm. Someone is really stressed over the fact that they put you in a third party. They're losing sleep about this. Someone kind of thought that you would... You would be so stressed and upset that when they showed their face again, you would just be so happy that they were around or that they came back around that you would let them in and you did not do that. You closed the door. Mm -hmm. You closed the door. You bolted that bitch up and you turned around and went to go sit on your couch. Yes, you did. And this person is like, they're, I just feel nerves. I feel someone who's anxious, who's restless who can't sit still, they can't stop thinking about you. It's a mess. I, I don't even want to be in this energy right now. It's crazy. Spirit, what else? What else? What else? What other messages do you have for the collective? Because it's, it's like, I don't know, maybe I should wait a few more weeks before I do this reading again for you, collective, because... This person's energy is like screaming. Give me another chance. I'm coming back around. I'm letting go of this person. They're walking away. But they're walking. The thing is, this person is so stressed because you walked away from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You walked away from them. They want to reunite with you, but you're not giving them nothing. No time, no energy, no effort, no nothing. Mm-hmm. You may not talk to this person. You may not even look at this person. You could have whole children with this person. You don't even look at them. Mm -hmm. They know. Yeah, look at this. Because you've healed. You're, he you're good. You don't need any of this mess anymore. Mm -hmm. And they see it. And this is why they're stressed out too. Because once upon a time when they could hook in on the fact that you were heartbroken or try to trauma bond with you, or try to come in with that, um, it's like uh, trigger abandonment issues, right? No, 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 that stuff doesn't fucking bother you no more. No. They can't come in on, with that angle, right? This is someone, though, who needs to look at their own issues, their own toxic ways of being and doing their own behavior. They need to look at things that are not healed within them, right? Before they try to work on anything or work with anybody. Because it's always going to end up being some kind of trauma bond. But you're not, you've healed from trauma or you continue to heal from trauma. So that's why it's, it's so challenging for this person to even approach you. Yeah. Look at this. They don't know what to say. This is someone who may come towards you when they're stuttering. They're trying to clear their throat. Okay. They don't know what to say. They can't form words because they're healed. You're healed. Right. Yeah, <laughs> this is someone who wants to be with you so bad, but they don't know what to say, collective. Mm -hmm. They do have deep feelings for you. They do care about you. But when they were with you, they didn't show that. They showed a level of toxicity that was just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, you had to separate yourself from that. This is someone who wants to come towards you and heal something, okay? Okay. Heal this rift between you two, but they have absolutely nothing. They have no words. They don't know what they can say after what they did. Yeah, look at this. They lack balance. They want to bring things back to balance. Yes. Hmm. And it's because you're not. This is someone who's still attached to you, but you're not focused on them anymore. You're not watching them. You don't care about anything that they do. Yeah. You're focused on what you're manifesting in your life. Yeah. This is over. And somebody refuses to get the memo. This is somebody who just does not want to acknowledge the fact that you're really 100% done with them. This storm in your life, the storm that they brought in your life is over. Okay? No more drama. No more chaos. No more conflict. No more competition. That shit's done with. Okay? And you work so hard to manifest calmer waters and harmony and balance in your life. Collective trust and belief. When this person comes around, 
Oh boy. <laughs> I I personally, which it's it's not important, my opinion doesn't matter, but I just personally feel like this person shouldn't even bother, right? This is someone who is trying to resurrect something that been dead. You could may have not even speaking to this, spoken to this person in years. And now that they want to come around because things didn't work out for them and think that they can try to what? Come slide into your life again? No, this has been over. You've healed from these storms, okay? These are things that, this, these experiences that this person brought into your life, it changed you. Absolutely transformed you. Okay? I mean, like, broke you down to build you back up. This is someone who's trying to attach themselves to you again, but you're not about attachments anymore, collective. You're about connections because you're whole now. Mm -hmm. This is someone, they do want to manifest some kind of peace with you, but they still need to love themselves. They need to work on themselves before they come towards you. Mm -hmm. Because this is someone who's going to try to, they're going to try to recreate the dynamic that they had with you before where it's like, Either the sex was really good, so you're always letting them back, or they feel like they can control you in some way or manipulate you in some way. But they were able to do that because of things in you that was not healed. Now that you are and you've dealt with your issues or continue to deal with your issues, someone you're going to counseling, it's doing really good for you. You're able to speak about things now, things that happened to your childhood, um, things that happened to you in childhood, I mean. Things that happened to you in adolescence, you're able to speak about them now. You're able, you know, you're, you've healed when you can speak about things and you're not getting triggered anymore. It's not bothering you. You're not reacting to them. You're choosing to respond to them. This person needs to go and do the same thing. Okay. They need to pull a page or rip a page out of your book and go and deal with their shit because somebody is not balanced and they're still trying to attach themselves to you instead of trying to connect with you. Mm-hmm. It's not going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. You're in a cycle right now where you're focused on what you need to do for yourself. Yes, you're in a cycle where you're focused on self-love. A lot of you, you've learned how to be more stingy with your love and more discerning. You're not just giving your heart to anybody anymore. You're holding that shit close to your chest. People need to prove themselves to you now, okay? They have to earn your respect. They have to earn your trust. And if they break those things, right? If they break your loyalty, they're not getting that back. No. Maybe in the next lifetime, but for some of you, whoever I'm speaking to, with this um, with this eight of cups here and the queen of coins in reverse, whoever I'm speaking to, when someone violates, that's a wrap. <laughs> maybe next lifetime, maybe. Mm -hmm. But you learn how to value yourself so much. You're not letting people come back from the past who showed you that they didn't check for you the right way. No, you're not. These people, for some of you, this could be family members that violated and they got cut. They never thought that they would get cut like that. For some of you, people thought that they could leave things for a little bit of time and, and over time, in the meantime, between time, they could slide back in and you've forgiven them because you're the queen of cups, right? You're loving, you're forgiving. Things haven't changed with you. You're the queen of cups, but you're inside. You're also the emperor. You're also the emperor. So you've taken full control of your life here. So when people want to be in your life, they got to act like they want to stay because you're not afraid to cut them off and cut them out. You're seeing things very clearly. You're aligning with what you want for your life. And if someone does not match that, they don't get to come. They don't get to come back. Yeah, people losing sleep, not eating, drinking more, stress, stress. So any more messages? Any more messages? Can I get some last words of guidance and advice? Actually, can I get some 5D messages in closing for the collective? Someone's not doing well, collective, because you closed the door on them. Mm -hmm. Remember, you are divine. Yes, you do. You remember that. It's about time, baby. Yeah. Whoever I'm speaking to, you know your worth here. Okay. 100% love you have for yourself. And it took you a long ass time to get here. So you're not letting anybody come back in who doesn't have good intentions for you or who did not have good intentions for you in the past. No. 
Keep your eye on the prize. Can't make this up. You know that you're a prize. A lot of you, it took you a long time to realize that you bring a lot to the table, okay? You are the 10 of coins. You are the 10 of cups. You are divine masculine, divine feminine. You're the prize here. And you had some people that tried to treat you like you were nothing because inside they didn't believe that they were anything. But they were wrong. Someone's opinion of you does not determine your value. It's what you think and believe of yourself. That's why you make someone feel very insecure. Because you show up so fully and embody your energy so powerfully. Right? Something's going to happen in four weeks. This person could be coming towards you in four weeks. Forgiveness is key. For some of you, you could actually find it in your heart to forgive someone now. Because you're healed so much. This could be happening in four weeks. But I, whoever I'm speaking to, even if you do forgive this person, because you do show up as Queen of Cups, even if you do, I don't feel like you're going to be getting back with this person or reconnecting with them or allowing them back into your world. With this Emperor energy here that you are embodying, you are embracing, you're recognizing that forgiveness is for you. It's for you to move on without carrying any emotional baggage so you can free up your energy and move forward in your life. But you do not have to um, reconnect with people who you have given multiple chances to and they threw them each and every one of them away. No, a lot of you now, you're recognizing and seeing very clearly that when people show you who they are, you believe them. Mm -hmm. So whoever I'm speaking to, you will be forgiving someone, finally, okay? It feels nice, doesn't it? But you're not allowing these people back into your life. And that's why they stress, I know I hurt you. I'm so sorry. Yes, they are. I told you, someone's coming with an apology. They're going to come for some of you. They're going to come crocodile tears begging you to forgive them. Right? And you may find it in your heart to do that. But there's no reconnection here. With this um, angel of love in reverse, you don't have love for these people anymore the way you did. It's not the same. Mm-hmm. You're the whole package. I told you, I can't make this up. You know that now. You're the prize. They know that you're the prize. Whoever I'm speaking to, like I said, you know you're the table. It's not just what you bring to the table. You know you're the table, okay? So you're not just not letting anybody come towards you anymore. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter the history that you have. Okay? I'm hearing, put some respect on my name. Mm -hmm. You're showing up very powerfully in your energy. You know that you are the prize in all things, love and be loving. There's that queen of coins, um, sorry, queen of cups energy. You're recognizing that you need to love yourself first, but you're also recognizing that if someone wants to approach you, they have to approach you with a place from a space and energy of pure love. Mm -hmm. You're about a divine, genuine connections now. None of this fake shit, none of this fake love. Someone is addicted to your body, addicted to your energy, and addicted to you. Can't make this up. That's what I was getting. I was getting like someone is tweaking because they don't have your energy anymore. You're dealing with some energy vampires. Like I said, someone's going to come crocodile tears. I'm sorry I hurt you. Please let me back into your life. Please give me access into your world. It's, it's going to be a hard no. For some of you, it may be a gentle no. <laughs> but it's firm. For some of you, you're going to be firm but gentle with somebody because you're going to see that they tweaking, okay? You're not even encouraging anyone to go slip their wrists in a bathtub or anything like that. You don't want to be the reason why someone does that, but you're going to let them know that you're not allowing them into your world anymore. They missed their chance. This person was a spiritual hater. Okay, this person wants you to know that when they sleep with their third party here, okay, this queen of hoes here, they think about you. You think that this queen of wands doesn't pick that up? You think that they don't know that? Why do you think they're so jealous of you? They know that this person is just with them killing time until they figure out how to get you to drop your defenses so they can slide in. They were pretending to be someone they're not or having something that they don't have. For some of you, like I said, when this person was with this energy, with this uh, third party here, could be masculine, could be feminine, doesn't matter. They were pretending to have the best life, have the best relationship when they thought that they were getting over on you, when they were hurting you, until they realized that you give zero Fs about all of that. You care about what you should be caring about now, yourself, your family, your life. 
Mm -hmm. This is also why this person feels so insecure around you. Mm -hmm. Because the whole time they were pretending to be someone that they're not and have something that they don't. Focus on things that bring you peace and positivity in your life and drop the rest. I just said this. I can't make it up and I'm ending this here. Collective, congratulations on getting to the other side. The other side of self-love. The other side of recognizing that you create your reality. The other side of leveling up and taking control, full control of your life. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are in the driver's seat of your life. It's you and your higher self, your guides, your angels, your ancestors. They're in the back seat like, yes, good for you. It took you so long to get here, but you're here now and you are not taking or allowing anyone to distract you. Mm. Collective, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Good job, Collective. I am humbled and honored to do this reading for you because it took you a long time to get here. Brush your shoulders off.